All right. I'll try to be brief. They were really good. We weren't that good. That's what happens when you have that combination. So um, they played they played some inspired, determined, intentional basketball. Um, in their energy, in their demeanor, uh, in their defensive effort. Um, and then they also played really well. I mean, they played really well. Okay, they, they they generated some good shots, sometimes on their own, sometimes for for some errors that we made. But they went in; those shots went in, uh, and so it's it, it was one of those days. And so it was going to look like that uh, when when we played poorly, and they played really well. They did. Got to give them a lot of credit. Um, just making shots. I mean, guy goes one for three from the free throw line with an air ball, and he makes four for five three pointers. So, so that kind of day. Yeah, Coach, what is it that, that Auburn did so well tonight that maybe you didn't necessarily prepare for or something that you didn't nothing, know they Nothing could do? that we didn't prepare for. That's not – I mean, we prepared really hard. We're 20 – how many games into this? Okay, so we prepared. Uh, but they made a lot of shots. Um. And their pressure bothered us at times. We still were one point per possession. It was not the Mona Lisa for us offensively. But at one point while we were still statting it, we still were at one point per possession offensively, which gener generally generates enough offense for us to, to win or have a good chance to win once our defense sinks in. So, But uh, some of our ball screen coverages were, were off, and then they took advantage of them. Uh, and, and, you know, loose ball in front of our bench. We dive on it, don't get it. It squirts up to them, and they shoot a three right in front of our bench. I mean, there were a lot of plays like that, um, but they're a good defensive team. That's no secret. I think their pressure bothered us to some degree. Um, but, again, I, we were at one point per possession throughout a large majority of the game. We just – the biggest thing, we just were not generate. I mean, we don't give up 100 points like that. I mean – not in not in one game. Coach, would you say their defense was the reason for the maybe a, a stagnant look on offense? I mean, during your winning streak, the ball really moved, a lot of assists, a lot of yeah. cuts to the basket. Was it was it something just in the performance of the offense, or just what their defense was? Doing? Yes, I mean, some of it some of it was their defense. They were taking things away, catches and whatnot. They were taken away, um, and so when you do that, you have to it. it it's to your benefit to play in transition. Uh, you know, you look at you look at games like Missouri, right? You don't play against Missouri and run your favorite play ten times, and that's what gets it done against Missouri. They play defense in a way that that's not what you do. Um, but when you don't get stopped, it's hard to play in transition. So then you're coming down against a set defense and you're trying to make an entry, versus coming down off of a miss, scramble mode, matchups aren't necessarily the way that you want them. Someone's going to have an advantage, step up screens, drag screens, all that stuff is happening in transition. And I think most people would agree that's a good time to do that stuff. But when you're taking the ball out of the net, it's hard to get into transition at all. Alan, on the left, you, uh, you talked after the Alabama game that that was maybe the only time this year you've seen this team struggle offensively and have that kind of carry over to defense. Do you feel like that happened tonight where things maybe were snowballing mentally or one side tra translating to the other like that? Mm, not as much, I don't think. I mean, even at one point when a team plays like that, as a player, you're trying to get out of the half in the first half, right? Halftime can't get there quick enough. And you can get back and you can lick your wounds and you can do a couple things and that happens. It's normal. Um, but, but in the second half, we made it we, – we fought, particularly early in the second half, we made a good push. We didn't make a couple of plays. We cut it to, I don't know, 16 or 17, whatever it was at the time. I thought we played okay. Yeah, you know, honestly, I was I had no issues with what we were doing other than we weren't finishing some plays off. We attacked to the rim, they blocked it. You know, we weren't finishing some plays off, but we were much more aggressive. We were much more like us, I would say, during that during that stretch, even on both sides of the ball. Um, but we got a couple stops during that stretch too. And uh, so I don't think it was and then at some point it's the snow the 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 the, the snowballs turned into you know, a really big snowball. And yeah, it's hard to it's hard to fight the same. That's why you make some substitutions at the end and get some guys in there that's going to have a fresh perspective on the game 
no matter the circumstances. But um, I don't I don't feel the same way as I did in that game. I don't honestly, I don't. They played really well. I mean, I I think Bruce would probably tell you they played really well, um, and so I think that was a that was a big part of it. It's been about a month since you guys lost a game. How do you get this group to brush this one off and kind of regroup your, yourselves since you guys are you know, still in the hunt for a top four seed in the SEC tournament and moving forward towards postseason? Yeah, I mean, you just got to get on to the next. And it's almost better if, if it turns out to this, right? Like, again, I don't want to take anything away from Auburn. They're a good team. They're well coached. They played really well. Right, but I don't think for a second we think they're 40 points better than us. Like I don't, I don't think that. So, I mean, it's almost better that it turned out that way, because turning a page on an, on what I'll be able to sell to them as an anomaly, not in that we lost certainly, but in that it turned out like that. Right, um, I think that'll be easier for them to get on to the next practice. I mean, you know, stuff happens. Sometimes you get the bull, sometimes the bull gets you. And it wasn't it wasn't our day in conjunction with it was their day. And so, you know, they got guys at the end of the game that are going a full speed crossover dribble pull up from seventeen and it's in. It just was it was a good day. It was a good day. Uh, coach, uh, opposing coaches that have come in here have repeatedly commented on the environment here at Neville and how it plays into making this such a tough place to win. Did yeah. you get a comment on the environment tonight and, and how it affected your team? Environment was great. We've got a lot of good environments in, in our league. You know, We had somebody that came to our place for the first time and had never been there and was really impressed with what ours was. We had 6,000 students at the game. But um, this, league's, this league, I don't think this league gets enough credit, honestly, for the environments. You know, I was in the Big Ten for seven years, and they lead always lead the nation in, in total attendance. But they have also mainly bigger arenas. I think that's skewed a little bit, so everybody gives them credit for that. I don't think the SEC gets enough credit for it, but some really good environments, just being one of them, honestly. Uh, obviously, Tennessee's got a really good one. All right, we all know it's hard to go to Arkansas and win. Like Ours has been really, really good. Um, but, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's, a good, it's a really good home court environment. Uh, the fans got after it, and um, and they played well here, too. And so, uh, yeah, I don't I mean, we've been in some tough environments. We were in Tennessee. We were at Tennessee. It was a similar scenario, right? And I don't think the environment affected us. They're just we also played better that day. But Madison. I had one more follow-up for you. Sure. Um, Michi and Michi Collin and BJ all were able to get in double figures, but this is the first time in quite a while that Michi was able to get up to 14 points. I, I know obviously the loss is going to overshadow that, but <laughs> was it nice to be able to see him back at the off, as, as successful on offense as he was towards the beginning of conference play? Yeah, I mean that's always good. In fact, there are a couple guys in at the end when you know when your chance to make a final push is not that realistic but there are a couple guys that are still in there because you know I want them to go out there and do something positive and see when a couple of them go in or or defend snatch a rebound like guys need to they need to do they need positive reinforcement they do and none is better my words just don't get it done all the time going out there and getting something done in a basketball game that'll get it done for you um, so we had a couple guys in there late you know, in hopes that they would do something and 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 you know so hopefully we get back into it, but it was good to see, yeah, it's good to see Michi out there able to score a little bit more.